Yesterday guys, I was playing my clan expedition and I managed to get on 2 medals more. No, it's not because my attack became higher or I got a boost in damage or kit rate. I just little changed my strategy and in this video, let me show you what I was doing. But before we we'll start guys, let me show you what I was using. My twin lens is kinda weak, I have it only void 2. I upgrade void side only for the clan expedition, normally I upgrade eternal side. Especially for the Endless Echo unless I forget. The situation with my necklace is little better, I have it Eternal 3 and Void 4. And the last Starforge equipment I have is Belt, I have it Eternal 3 and Void 2. In total guys, if I'm not wrong, I have 29 Relic Cores. The next what I must show you is a pet and what skills I'm using for him. So my deployed pet is Rex, unfortunately not two awakened stars. Skills I would call standard for Rex. The last what I want to show you is my Panta, as you can see I have it two awakened stars. A teamwork passive I use Worm, also two awakened stars. Ok guys, I guess I showed you everything, so let's play. The first what I'm doing guys, I'm switching skills from Sunfire Pump to Bulwark Key. To abuse to master Jan's debuffs as soon as possible and as a main skill to have Sunfire Pump. When you're choosing skills, you can make a mistake which I used to make. Sunfire Pump never choose at the second skill, choose it at the third or fourth skill. Let me show you what will happen when you do it. Here you can see that Bulwark Key I have at the second skill. The next what will happen guys, before the boss will appear, Vortex will disappear. As a result, the boss will not have Master Yan debuff from the first second. So to not make it happen, choose his skill at the third or fourth. What I'm also doing before the boss will appear, I little step away. As a result, he touches Vortex and get his debuff icon. Then, of course, I'm dying three times as soon as possible. Also, do not forget to switch Bulwark Key to Sunfire Pump to abuse two Master Yan debuffs, not only one. The next what I'm doing guys, after dying 3 times, I lower my health to around 20-30%. The thing is, that Twinlands is doing higher damage when your health is low. To survive with the low health, not to die, I have Belt, Void 2. If you have it Void 2, it restores and also gives you the energy shield when you're looting energy orbs. And you get plus 10% boost to the shield damage. The last what I'm doing to have the shield to not let it disappear, I'm trying to receive less damage. To see how I'm doing it, then watch this video till the end. That's all what I'm doing guys, what helped me to get 2 more medals. In comments let us know what you're doing, what helps you to get most medals. Subscribe my channel and would be great if you will like this video, because it helps me to make better content for you.
it down.